So Mr. Christensen, could I have you uh, introduce yourself? I uh, sure can. Uh, my name is Brady Christensen. Uh, right now I live in Helena, Montana. Uh, my wife and I moved here uh, about 10 years ago and currently I work for the Department of Environmental Quality in the solid waste section. Mm -hmm. And what is it that you do there at DEQ? Uh, so within the solid waste section, I work for the materials management program. And within that program, uh, we help administer the motor vehicle recycling and disposal program statewide. We also work with communities uh, on recycling initiatives and recyclers to, to kind of get material moved, recycled, instead of it going to the landfill. Okay. And uh, have you ever run for elective office before? So I haven't. This is my, my first time putting my, my uh, name in the hat. And... I'd have to say so far it's been a, a great experience. I've had some excellent uh, in, uh, interactions with just some people from Lewis and Clark County. Uh, I've had some tremendous support. Uh, so things have gone pretty good so far. Okay. So Mr. Christensen, uh, why are you running for this position, County Commission? Uh, so I'm running for County Commissioner uh, because I think I can, I can make a difference. I think that I can help uh, the current commission. I think I can add some value to it. Um, and really just serve the, the citizens of Lewis and Clark County uh, to the best of my ability. What do you see as your main qualifications for this position? Uh, so I think my, my main qualifications is I'm fair, I'm a good listener, um, and, and just my background, not only in state government, but I, I have had you know, a past career in, in private industry, in the utility industry. Uh, so just working with different groups of people bringing different ideas together, finding a fair, equitable solution, um, and then presenting that and getting feedback and listening to that feedback to, to really come up with what helps everybody the best. What do you see as the number one issue facing Lewis and Clark County right now? Uh, if I had to say the number one issue facing the county right now would be what the commission is working on uh, in regards to zoning. Uh, I think it's a pretty hot topic. Uh, there's a lot of people who are for it, a lot of people are against it. Um, and it's going to be a pretty tall order for the commission to, to kind of listen to all those different viewpoints and, and really put something together that's fair and, and works out for, for everyone. Okay. Are there any issues you believe haven't received enough attention from county leaders in recent years? So nothing really comes to mind. I think the county, uh, the commission has done a great work, a great deal of work, uh, you know, providing resources, keeping those efficient, uh, keeping them um, very cost effective. Um, I think in, in light of this COVID-19 thing that we're doing, it's, it's definitely shown that the relationships that they've built uh, with the state, you know, DPHHS, uh, the city of Helena, local hospitals, and, you know, just working together, sharing information. Uh, I think it's really shown that they've, they've built those relationships and they're going well. Um, I'm sure that they've found some things that they can improve on. Um, and, you know, that's just something that uh, they'll take to the table and talk about that and figure that out. Okay. What, uh, what is it that you feel the county is, you've sort of addressed it, but what is it you feel the county is doing well right now? And what is it that you think can be improved? Um, as far as the county has done well in general or like as a certain topic? In, in general. In general. Um, I think they do a very good job of communicating, um, keeping like what they're doing with the commission meetings and, and uh, with this zoning, keeping things up to date online so that uh, the citizens who are interested, they can review what's going on, they can have that input, and they can also submit their concerns and questions. Okay. And is there anything that you feel needs to be improved? So... Not off the top of my head, I can't really say, you know, uh, basically once you, once you take the job of county commissioner, there's a whole lot more that you're gonna kind of dive into and really have to learn about, you know, to be effective at that job. Uh, so once that were to happen, you may come up with one or two things that you could think that might need some improving, but from the outside looking in, uh, I, think, I think the county, the commission, I think they do a great job uh, pretty much across the board. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, on a couple of specific issues, what is it uh, that you want to see the county do to support, uh, to provide support as uh, the community begins to recover from this COVID-19 situation? 
Uh, so I think the county's already doing it, but I mean, get that information out there on the website, get it out on Facebook, uh, as far as, you know, making sure you maintain the social distancing. Um, really, it's going to fall down, fall on the citizens' shoulders to make sure that they're doing what they can to help prevent the spread and help it from, you know, escalating again. Um, but really, just, just keep that information flowing uh, and just try to get as many people informed as you can. Okay. Uh, you mentioned the zoning uh, proposals earlier. Uh, what is your view on the on the proposals that the county has put out? Are you in favor of them? And uh, if not, what would you like to see instead? Uh, so with the zoning, uh, I've, I've kind of started looking at that a little bit. I've heard some, from some people, some that are for it and some that are against it. Uh, and I would just have to say that, you know, growth throughout the county, it's going to continue. Um, I think planning for that growth now is a smart and responsible decision. Uh, so I am in favor of, of the zoning, um, but again, I just, I just hope that the commission really listens to people that are for and against this, and you're never going to find something that's going to make everyone happy, but basically try to find a solution that's, that's the, the fairest for, for everyone. Okay. Uh, all right. Very good. Uh, is, uh, what message would you like to leave the voters uh, of Lewis and Clark County with? Uh, I'd just like to say, um, I've talked to, to some of you and, and I hope to talk to many more. I know that the primary is coming up. Uh, the ballots will be out May 8th and uh, I hope you think about voting for me and I appreciate the support I've gotten already. All right, thank you very much, sir. Thank you.